Now we have MOLMO, Multimodal Open Language Model. What is unique to this is that the model weights and the code to create this vision language model is open source, which means you are able to use it. And this is the most open vision language model, which you can see. When you see the performance, MOLMO's 72 billion parameter model is just behind GPT-40 and beating every other models in ELO rating. This is released in four different versions, 72 billion parameter model, 7BD, 7BO, and 1 billion parameter model. 72BO is the most open model. That's what we are going to test it today in its vision capability. In academic benchmark, this MOLMO 72B is ahead of GPT-40. That is really good. Even the 1 billion parameter model, it's quite high in regards to the ranking. 1 billion means you are able to load that on your mobile device or any low spec computer. This is really nice. When you see the architecture, it includes a vision encoder, that is clip, and also we are passing the text through the tokenizer. And the image and the text together goes into this large language model. One of the key things which I see, which is different from other models, is that it's able to point at things. For example, if I say point Mount Rainer, and it's able to exactly point where it is. Similarly, you are able to count the total number of people or count anything, and it's able to clearly point at the person. It's able to convert any handwritten document to a structured data like this. When we ask any questions, it's able to point at things as you can see here. So how did they create this model? First, they used Quen to 72 billion parameter or Quent to 7B parameter model accordingly as the large language model together with the vision encoder. That is the clip vision encoder. Then they trained with this Pixmo caption data set. So this is another data set released by the team. So after training with caption, it's trained with Pixmo ask model anything data set, which consists of OCR data. Next, Pixmo points. This is the data set to point to anything based on the question we ask. Then Pixmo question and answering data set, Pixmo docs data set, Pixmo clocks, and finally, academic data set. We can test this 7 billion parameter model on their own website, alanai.org. So that's where we are going to test this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure to click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So we are going to test if it's able to identify person, extract tables, scan a QR code, or even solve the capture. First, I'm uploading a person's image. Who is in this image? And now it's generating me the response. The image shows Elon Musk. That is correct. Next, going to ask, count the number of boats in this image. And you can see it's able to identify the location where these boats are located. And based on that, here is the answer. Counting the number of boats in this image shows a total of 36. And you can see we are able to select the points. It's highlighting me where the boats are located. This is the key feature which I see different from other vision language models. Next, passing this table a column. Extract information from this table and fill the missing values. Now it's generating me the response and it extracted the information correctly from the image as you can see here, with the name, birthday, age. But I see some information missing, such as it says B-I-N-S-E-N, -E but here I see Benson. Here is Thoman double N, but here is single N. Apart from that, it's able to calculate the age correctly. So even though it's not 100% accurate, I will give this a pass, because mostly it's accurate. Next, solving captures. Solve this for me. And here is the answer, overlooks inquiry. So that is correct. Now I'm going to give you multiple captures at the same time. Extract text from this image. I can see it's extracting correctly with commas. I'm going to say group it according to the image. I apologize, I don't see any specific grouping of the text based on the image. So it's not able to group even though we can see these are group of captures. Next I'm going to provide this image and ask it to give me HTML and CSS code for this. And it's now generating me the response. I'm going to copy the code. I don't think this is going to work because the UI 
automatically interpreted these values and it's not coming in code block. So this is not an issue with the model itself, but with this UI. One key thing which I note here is that it's able to identify different elements in this image, like web link, combo box, text area, button, radio button, search field. So from this code, I see that it could be a starting point, but I'm not able to judge because I'm not able to get the code from here. Next, adding the QR code, give me the URL from this QR code. I apologize, but I don't see any specific URL in the QR code. So it's not able to pass the QR code. Next, this is the image which I'm going to show and identify Waldo, which we can see here. So let's see if it's able to identify Waldo. Identify Waldo. There are none, so that is wrong. Overall, I really like this model. And the key feature which stands out is the ability to point at things. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.